off. I'm off. I'm off for today. Y'all already know how I feel about that. So, yeah. Get ready to get up. Ooh, y'all. I was watching the previews on this uh, movie that's coming out on the 29th. But there is a new movie that's coming out with um, old boy that played in um, Tyler Perry's Daddy's Girl. What's his name? Y'all already know his name. I'm going to have to insert a picture right here. But the movie's called Beast. And it comes out August 12th. Y'all already know I'm going to be there to watch it. So, yeah, this is my outfit for today. Because it's hot outside, so I decided to wear this with my little... I know I wear my arms out. I don't care. What? Who going to come for me? Who? Who, who, who? I'm just playing. Okay. I'm going to get my husband so we can go. Okay, you guys. So, we made it back home. So, now we're currently getting ready to eat. Um, it's 11.17, but you might as well say this is kind of like brunch. I guess it's not even brunch. It's still breakfast because it's 11 o'clock. But So we're eating our lunch. So we're going to call this brunch, okay? Munch, because it's Monday. Munching Monday. How about that? Right, baby? Yeah. So we got a shortstop. I don't know if y'all have a shortstop in y'all area, but I want to show y'all what it looks like. I'm going to show y'all Adara's um, lunch and ours. Me and my husband got the same thing. What's up, YouTube? Why y'all doing YouTube? Uh, thank you, good Lord. Let me bless y'all. See y'all today. Been a beautiful morning. See how beautiful my wife here. I thank her very much for all the love that she showed. I thank y'all for the love that y'all showing back. Paul still get touched more than me. I'm rubbing him right now. Y'all see how he is? He full of it. Hold on, man. Change. <laughs> okay, so this is Adara. She got um, French toast, not French toast, toast, gravy, French fries, and she got tenders. So and this then, is how the wrapping, the packaging comes for the burger. As you can see, it says, uh, it's been serving the Austin area since 1984. And when I tell y'all these are the best burgers here in town, they are so good. Let me show you what my burger looks like, you guys. Um, I currently have lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, pickle, and as y'all can see, the burger is like grilled. But I like it because they don't put big chunks of onion on there, and it's really good. So we get ready to eat. Okay. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Look how Peppa go crazy when she see Bo. You see Bo? That's Bo right there, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see Bo. You see Bo? You see Bo, Peppa? Look, there go Bo. You see Bo? He said hi to Bo. Hmm? Yeah, girl, you can't jump the... Oh, Lord, look. Look. and I wanted to talk about um, just words of encouragement. So today, this word is distractions. I'm going to read the devotion, but the word is distraction. And I say that because with distractions can come destruction, meaning that the enemy don't want you to stay focused so on your task so remember he's always on a task too but god wants us to continue to focus on him even when the situation is uncomfortable and when i say uncomfortable it can mean a whole lot of things, from financial, through divorce, your children, 
your job, family, um, just different things that may come your way to try to throw you off track. And so that's why I always say it's very important to journal and write down your cares and your thoughts because you can express more by writing it down on paper. And see the devil, he won't he don't he won't know what you're writing. The enemy won't know what you're writing down, right? When you write stuff, when you write everything that's on you, that's between you and God. That's just a conversation between you and him. Because he already knows the cares. He already knows the distractions that's going to come our way. But he wants us to keep our eyes on him. And that's what happened to Peter when he stepped out on the water. And he didn't stay looking up. When his head looked down, he sunk. And that's what happens. We allow our circumstances, our situations to beat us up so bad that we start looking down and forgetting where our help comes from. And so I I have been in a constant battle within these past few weeks. And I say that because sometimes people will look at you and not know whatever you may be dealing with. And going you may be going through a storm, but they just see your outer appearance and don't even know what's going on in the inside of what you're dealing with. And that's where God steps in to make your your light shine. His glory shines through you. And people are not gonna understand because sometimes he will have you in a waiting season. And that's what I was telling my brother-in-law the other day when we were at um, my brother-in-law's funeral. I was speaking to my other brother-in-law and I was talking about the wait while you're in the waiting. And so while you in the waiting process, sometimes things don't feel comfortable. You have so many different emotions on the inside, thoughts running through your head, and you, you know, you didn't cry everything out. You may have cussed everybody out. You may have tried to fight and just did, done so much. But in that process, when you're going through that pain, when you're going through that kind of hurt, when you're going through that kind of, uh, feelings where it makes you get distracted god wants you to pull back he wants you to pull back on that so that way you can move yourself out the way because the flesh will let try to take over baby it will try to take over your mind and start trying to think of things and then you'll forget all about the lord and what he's trying to do for you and so that's where we miss the mark we miss that and i just i had to tell myself that last night you know we have to Remember that Dorcas sent me a song and the song was called Jira. And the song says, Jira, you are more than enough. It was multiple songs. It was two of them that really caught my attention that spoke to my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because God knows my every needs. He knows my wants. And what I may be praying for, is, it may not be what he wants me to have. But because he has something greater in store for me. So I'm saying this to somebody because you may be feeling like you in a, a slumped over situation. But know that God can change your posture. When he sits you up and he has you look up, you can't do nothing but hold your chest out and stand firm. Because the that's what the devil, he wants us to see us. He wants to see us weak. He wants to, he wants us to feel like there's nothing left in us. No fight left. We don't have no purpose or no, no kind of structure in our life. God fixes everything. He's, God is the construction worker. He knows the foundation. He knows exactly how it's going to look once it's done it's like it's just like construction when you when you start up when you you see the you see the uh, the the layout of how it's gonna look he shows you that he shows you the layout 
on the piece of paper. But then when it starts coming together, you see this slab and it, it don't look like anything. You just see the base. Then from the you base, start seeing the frames go up. You start seeing the windows. You start seeing the, you know, just you start seeing all the pieces being put together. And that's the way God works. It takes time. When you build a home, it takes six months. Sometimes it comes right away and sometimes it takes a while for you to get where he wants you to be. And that's where I had to continue to tell myself, I have to inspire myself and tell myself that, okay, I'm here. This is what's going on right now. But I know that God is steady building my frame. And, and I'm not going to get distracted. I'm not going to allow the enemy to make me feel like what I'm doing is going in vain or, or, or what God is showing me or has showed me is not going to prosper, which it is because God is a man that shall not lie. And I said that in my last video, man lies, but God don't lie because he seeks to help his children. He loves his children. He wants us to have the best. We allow certain things to happen to us and that's what delays some of our blessings but when we sit there and allow him to have total control over everything and what he has in store for us that's all that's all we need is him and nothing else i say that to let y'all know that whatever confusion whatever kind of distraction you may be dealing with whatever kind of dysfunction you may be dealing with Hey, lay it down, surrender, give it away because it's not going to do nothing but make you sick. It's not going to do nothing but make you angry. It's not going to do nothing but make you not want to talk to people. It's going to make you hate. It's going to make you start thinking things uh, less about who you are and whose you are. So I'm just saying this because got so much in you. You got so much in store for you. God has so much in store for you that he wants to bless you with. And the devil don't want to see you have it. But you know what? God showed you that promise. And every day that you continue to get up, that means you're getting closer and closer to it. So you remember that. No weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I say that all the time because it's we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against spiritual principalities. And that's the enemy. And that's he knows how to use things and situ and people in situations to, to try to hurt you. But know that God goes before you. You just keep carrying your three pebbles like David did when he slayed that giant. When God told him to slay that giant, that's what you do. You keep holding on to those three rocks. And when God tells you to get ready to slay that giant, baby, you throw the rocks. And you get ready to stand strong and you get ready to receive your blessing because that job you've been seeking for that home you've been seeking for that marriage you've been seeking for the better stability for your children you've been praying financially for yourself all the delivered off of drugs to stop drinking you know you've been holding things from your childhood god is getting ready to deliver you from those giants you got to believe it hold on to your pebbles Hold on to them because remember, giants fall. Remember that. They fall. So I love you guys. I'm going to read today's devotional to you guys. And I pray that you receive this word and um, take it back. Take it back to the Father. Talk to him and, and ask him. And he will give you an answer. I promise you. He will. Because that's just, that's, that's my daddy. I know what he can do. He's done so much for me and my family. hes I can tell y'all a heap of things that he has done for me that nobody knows. My, my, my husband and I are truly a living testimony to things that has happened in our life that, that I didn't think that was ever, and I mean ever, was going to change. But God did it. He did it. And I I will forever be grateful and thankful for what he's done in my life and my family's life. So I encourage y'all today too because don't give up. Don't give up. Continue to get up 
every day. Get up and go wash your face. Brush your teeth. Make yourself feel good. Go take you a nice warm shower and and cool off a little bit and, and allow whatever it is that's troubling your heart to not take control over you and consume how you're feeling. Because that's a playground for the end of I'm going to read today's devotional and we go, um, it's going to be all right. So I want to tell y'all that it's going to be all right. I've been talking to you since before you were born. I'm the first one who welcomed you into the world when your mother gave birth. I love and cherish you forever. And yet you haven't always been aware of my presence. How many times do you think Moses tracked past me with his sheep before he noticed? The bush on fire in the sand. How long do you suppose I had to call out to Moses before he heard me? I tell you, my presence is suitable, unpredictable, and supernatural. A burning bush, a mighty wind, a silent cave, a grassy patch beneath a tree, the solemn privacy of the holy of holies, and dear one in the sacred halls of your own heart, that's where you'll find me. Absorb these words I'm speaking to you and come climb into my heart. So I pray that y'all receive that word of today. God's got a blessing with your name on it and call on Jireh because he is our provider. God is here. He's everywhere. So tell him. Tell him what your needs are. Tell him what's troubling your heart. He said right here he knew you way before you was even consumed in your mother's womb and before he welcomed you here to this earth. So that means he's letting you know. He's giving you an open invitation letting you know that Hey, I already know what you got going on. I just need you just to let me know. So I love you guys. Okay, so next time y'all see me, we'll be going to the store. Okay? Mm. See ya. <laughs>
what do you call it? A hybrid? I don't know what it's called. A hybrid refresher. That's what I'm going to call it, y'all. A hybrid refresher. And just let them know that Just Doree sent you when you go to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm just playing. But Starbucks, if y'all want to sponsor me, y'all sure can. Thank you. Sure, we have advertising here. Sure.